In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six steps timeline template in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, I've created the path here uh, with the shadow effect and it looks like it is elevated from the ground. And then what I'm going to do is when I click the first option, the first here comes, so you can see here, I have used some gradient color here uh, with uh, icon and the shadow effect. You can add the year and the detailed text and I've added a glossy shadow effect also for this. And when I click, it will show me the second option with a different color combination. Now this time for the year 2000, then it comes for the 2004 with different color combinations. You can see here, this is for the 2015 and then this is for the year 2022. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these years. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. And I have used Office 2019 version to make this template. If you are using the older version like 2007 and 2010, some features might not be available. So I highly recommend you to use the latest version of PowerPoint. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and I'm going to draw a path for the timeline slide. So go to insert shapes from the lines. I'm going to select this free form shape. So depending on your requirement, you can just draw your own path. For example, I can just bring the line till here, click one time and then just move it to the left. You can see here and then I'm just clicking one more time here again. I'm just going to click one more time here and then I'm just clicking this time down, bring it to the right. So depending on your requirement, you can increase, decrease or change whichever way you want. So whichever place you can see here, I can just click it here and I'm just going to make it one smaller and then I'm just going to make it till this end or I can just make it like this also. So whichever way you want, you can just align it according to your requirement so and double click this one so uh, we have made the path here you can see here then if you want you can just go to right mouse click format shape and you can increase the width you can see here if you want you can increase the width change the outline color to any color maybe some dark gray color and if you want you can just make it somewhat transparent also so depending on the requirement you can uh, change it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a rectangular options for the, the ears. Okay, for that I'm going to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to select the rectangle rounded corner. Hold the shift key so that you get a perfect square shape. So depending on your requirement, how much size you need, you can increase or decrease. Shape outline, make it no outline and I'm going to use some gradient fill for this. So by default I have used this one. So again, let me just... Uh, give some different color combination you can just choose any color combination of your choice maybe i'm just going to choose orange you can see here orange with maybe pink let me just select pink color yeah so you can see here uh, any different color combination you can choose and then i'm going to give some 3d format for this for that you need to go to the effects and go to 3d rotation under presets from parallel i'm going to select which is isometric top up just click here uh, you get this kind of uh, shape and then what you need to do is we are, i'm going to give some depth for that you need to go and give uh, click on the 3d format and you can see the depth here so depending on your requirement you can increase the depth maybe 10 points maybe 12 it's up to you and then you can just play with this the material and lighting you can just see here i can just give some different color the shadings you can see here whichever way you feel better you can just choose it and then maybe the first one i'm just going to place it here all right and again if you want to increase the size you can just hold the shift key and increase the size all right now I'm going to add one more press ctrl D kind of a shadow effect for that I'm going to give the color as gray only you can see here I'm going to use some dark gray 
and some light gray color combination and then i'm going to the effects and a 3d format the lighting i'm going to choose any of these here or i can just go to the material and choose this the uh, transculent powder okay so you can see here it is transculent it is transparent and then i'm just going to place it just beneath this and then sending this to back so i have created the shadow effect also now i can just select both of these press ctrl d to duplicate now depending on my requirement i can just add wherever i want so you can see here i'm just going to add one here press ctrl d i'm going to add one more here ctrl d i'm adding one more here and last one i'm going to add it here so you can see here i've added one two three four five six uh six uh, steps or if you want you can just uh, increase also and now if you want to uh, retain the same colors you can retain it or if you can just select any of your color of your choice you can just go and give maybe i'm just going to give a, a dark tea color uh, with some uh, green color let's see how it looks so you can see here a different different color combination you can choose from the color palette the next thing is i'm just going to add some icons and some shadow effect for this for that you need to go to insert click on icons and remember these icons are available only in the latest version of powerpoint if you're using older version like 2013 16 10 or 7 this feature is not available for that i have provided one more of uh, free uh, icons you can just go and check my channel and download it so i'm just going to click the icons and uh, randomly i'm just going to choose some icons for this particular tutorial so i'm randomly i'm just choosing so three already have selected i can just go and click it here maybe this one i need uh, maybe i need uh, could be uh, this one and one more the last one i am going to add this one here so you can see here uh, this many icons have been added so i can just select this one and then i can just reduce the size maybe 0.6 you can see here and then i can just place the icon depending on my requirement onto the each rectangle you can see here i'm just adding one by one and if you want you can just change the color of this maybe white if you want or if you want to keep it black it's up to you and then you can go to insert shapes i'm going to select some basic shapes the oval shape here and i'm going to give some shadow effect for that go to shape outline no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency level and then go to the effects soft edges increase the size you can see here something like this and then i'm just going to place it exactly below this one and select the icons and bring to front so you can see here i have just created this shadow effect and then if you want you can make it white also so if white is visible clearly so i'm just going to select all by holding the shift key and graphic fill i'm going to make it white and then i can just select the shadow press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just adding it one by one like this you can see here press ctrl d again and the last one press ctrl d now the shadow should be at the bottom for that i'm going to choose the icons hold the shift key again choose the icons and bring to front so you can see here the shadow effect has been created and you can just align it properly now once this is done what you can do is if you want you can add some shadow effect for this path also i can press ctrl d to duplicate this one you can see here and i'm going to make it more transparent all right and then i'm just going to place it something like this something here you can see here something i'm going to make it like this kind of uh, or if you want maybe yeah, this is the right place i believe and then just go to format and send this to back all right and if you want you can make it more transparent also it's up to you how you want this line to visible so if you don't want also you can just simply select and delete also it's up to you whether you want to use it or not now just uh, our basic design is ready the next thing what we need to do is we need to add the ears and some detailed text 
and before adding the ears if you feel that this a uh, path is not straight or it's zigzag or you want to correct it what you can do is you can just select this one right mouse click edit point and then you can just make it straight you can see here i can just make it more straight depending on my requirement and then i can just choose this one and i can just move it here you can see here i have made it more uh, straight here and then let's go to insert text box and i'm going to type year for example 1995 this is where the company started uh, i'm just making it center align make it bold choose any font of your choice i'm going to choose helvetica i'm making it maybe 14 size you can see here and then go to insert text box you can add detail text here center align make it gray color reduce the size all right and then i can just place it just below this ear all right and then i'm going to select both of this press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to place the ear on for each rectangular options you can see here just place it one by one press ctrl d and it comes here and the last one it will come here and then depending on your requirement maybe this i'll say 2000 this could be say 2005 this is 2010 this is 2000 say 16 and i'm going to say this one as 2021 all right so we have added the year and the detailed text and if you want to change the the slight background also you can make it somewhat light gray color so depending on your requirement you can just choose any color of your choice or if you want you can make it darker also now the last thing we need to do is the the animation part so let me just close this format background i'm going to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this the line first and I can give the wipe effect wipe effect maybe you can just make it from top maybe left whatever whichever way you feel better you can just do it you can see here and then I'm going to select this option first and I'm going to make it fly in fly in this should come from top and then I'm going to double click this I'm going to increase the bounce end maybe 0.24 seconds and if you want you can make it very fast or fast depending on your requirement so let it be very fast and click ok so it comes something like this and the same thing i'm going to select the animation painter and i'm going to choose the bottom one again the only thing which i'm going to do is make it from the bottom all right and this should happen with previous so if i play now the first line comes when i click you can see here it is coming together and then this also should come with a, a fly in I'm going to choose the same thing animation painter and click on this one and this also should happen with previous all right or maybe a little bit delay you can give and then I'm going to use this one and fade I'm going to choose it and this should happen again with previous a little bit delay so let me just play when I click it comes something like this you can see here this is how the animation works and then the last one i'm going to choose both the text add animation more entrance effects go to stretch click ok and i'm going to make it from top and this should happen after previous so let me just play now you can see here uh, something like this now if you feel that this should happen with previous i'm going to choose and make it with previous now it's very easy for me using the animation painter i can just click on this one you can see here i'm going to choose the bottom one and again clicking on the bottom part then i'm going to choose this one you can see here and then i'm going to choose the shadow effect animation painter click on this and then as usual i can just choose this one for this and this also for this so let me just play now if you see here this is the first line comes when i click the first uh, ear comes then the second ear comes like that you can just using the animation painter complete the animation for the rest of the options